Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. So I've seen a lot of people in the comments talking about the icons I'm using and a lot of other stuff. So that's why I decided to just make a separate video about my Linux rise. I would say it's not really completed just yet. It's not perfect. Me personally, I don't like my rise. I try to change stuff here and there, but every single time I just hate the results and I want it to look better. I'm just obsessed. I will show you everything I have and I have done so far. Let's just get started. The first thing I will talk about as the terminal i used to deal with console a lot but honestly i felt like it was a bit slow especially when loading stuff for example just when it's want to load a uh, neo fetch you can see that it's taking a bit of time but if i go with alacrity it's just slightly faster it's something about gpu acceleration i'm not sure if that's the right term for that so i switched to it and it looks much better actually than uh, console in the other side because i tried multiple times to just just remove that thing over here and they failed i don't know how to remove those you know that panel it's just annoying alacrity doesn't have it but this one is just you know i'm not really a big fan the thing i didn't know how to do on alacrity is the blur something and console is that you can basically add blur by going here then here then you make a profile then you edit that thing too much steps but that's fine and then you come over here and that's where you blur your background now talking about the major stuff which is the icon the team the colors and to find out where i use i need to go to the settings and then go to where yeah icons and themes. so the color i use that what is it yeah that's the hex for it it's just a light screen to match the background and everything the only thing i changed in the application style is not the application style itself but the transparency or the blur effects that you get once you click for example on the right click you could see that they have have some blur in here and that simply can be activated by going to application style and KDE and then transparency and you're gonna find that you can make it as transparent as you want I tried that one over here let's just try it together it just looks not modern enough and I want it to look modern so yeah let's just switch it back to default the plasma style didn't change that one at all windows decoration I tried multiple ones like that one and that one and then it was like you know let me just say with the breeze one it looks better simpler and i don't want no extra colors on those little things in here the icons which a lot of people asked me about is those icons i used to have uh, it's called the fluence there's like three styles but three of them actually look the same i don't know what the difference like when you install from the kde store they come as three variants but they're basically all the same i don't know i just feel like i should switch back to this right i don't know let's just do that one uh i don't know i also tried dues over here wait yeah look at this over here a lot of you guys will actually enjoy that one you can see that the icons looks really really cool and actually match the wallpaper and everything uh, the only thing i didn't like about it is those icons on top over here because i want dues to match the rest of all of those so they don't really match that's why i didn't use them but honestly i think they're really cool like everything in those icons it's just different and cool looking but i'm not a big fan i tried a lot of icons really like i download and delete a lot of icons all the time just to see which one gonna match my personality but i still didn't really find something i'm now using groove box is that what it's called groove box yeah the cursor i'm using the polar 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 nice cursors i don't know how to pronounce that but those are the ones i use uh i used to have those as well but you know i was like no they look so different and then i switched back to polar nice cursors system basically the free desktop thingy that doesn't matter the sounds doesn't matter and when i log in i use the arch uh, splash screen i could just download others from here but um, i tried that one didn't like it and i tried what is this that one and i didn't like it so i just decided to stick to the arch one which is the one showing up on here and yeah the mouse gets bigger just like the mac west thingy when you like move your mouse a lot the login 
It's just the, the breeze, look, and screen, nothing really different. But you know, I will change that thing just right now because I hate this. I'm done with this. I want something simpler. So that's why I will download that simple thing I'm looking for. Where is it? Yeah, for some reasons, when I decided to download what I want, it's not showing the images. So I have to go through all of these one by one. How stupid. All right. Like I have one in mind. It's like really simple. I have it on my laptop. This is running Osh and I really love it. So I'm going to go through all of those no 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 oh this one looks cool uh but not enough not enough yeah move on this one looks like windows but it's way different than windows nope uh-huh yeah i want something simple most of these are like modern and i'm not a big fan of modern like i'm kind of in the middle i use modern stuff oh that's the one i'm looking for yeah i use like modern stuff mixed with like classic old looking stuff i try to stay in the middle if you get my point so that's what I will install and that's will be my login screen let's just enter the password all right so let's just apply it and enter the password again and we're good to go talking about the effects and the window i can just show you what i have i'll go to what is this just somewhere in here general behavior no windows management yeah the only things i have activated is the wobbly windows which is i believe that one wobbly windows and translucency once you activate that thing your window gonna be become translucent which means for example if i go like i will activate it and then look can you see that it becomes translucent and stuff yeah exactly just like that it changed really nothing except the blur yeah i messed around with the blur so i can get a little bit of blur and deuce even though you can barely see that there's any blur it's pretty okay i could just select this magic lamp thingy yeah it's cool um uh, i don't know the reason i don't activate the magic lamp like when i'm working on something that's really takes a lot of resources this magic lump doesn't want to just be smooth at all you feel the slowdown of it so that's why i just keep the default one because no matter what you be doing like video editing or playing a game or whatever you're doing in the background and you're like you're using most of your resources the animation will be smooth as default and it's not going to get slower or something i have two virtual desktops that i change with the shortcuts it's useful sometimes when you have a lot of stuff opened up in here and you just don't want to keep opening more windows so you like use that other virtual desktop now talking about the most important thing for me and something that i have to look at every single time which is that bar over here and that one over here that one bar in the bottom automatically hide once i have a window opened for example if i open this and i go full screen you're gonna see that it's gonna hide itself and in here this one does always show up no matter what uh those are the settings i have i set it to adaptive cool just go with translucent but nothing really changed floating yep i don't want it to be like stuck to the top of the screen i used to have it on the side but i don't really enjoy that that much anymore so i set it to the top just like that and now for the widgets i have the disk usage the hard disk activity and the total cpu use and memory usage to basically keep an eye on how much resources are being used i got the digital clock and the fuzzy clock in here actually they look really good and here we got just a system tray and the big at desktop thingy and that's really it you know i'm thinking of pulling that thing and putting it down here but it looks bad put it back where it was please no it's okay keep it there now talking about the file manager for me i use both uh dolphin because it's useful of course uh, it's simple to use it's the one that comes default with kde plasma but sometimes when i wanted to keep it more simple i go with that one over here called ranger that's basically just a shortcut it's not an application in the first place when i don't want to rely on the mouse that much and only on the keyboard i use that one really cool and really useful if you don't like using the mouse and only the keyboard you decide but talking about neofetch let's open the terminal for a minute I want to customize that in the future. If you watch PewDiePie videos, you've seen that when he was showing his rise, he had one of those uh, moving thingies in here. And I'm still searching how to change those. I believe they're really simple and easy. It's not a big deal. I could also add an image in here. And I'm not really sure. I'm confused a little bit. There's a lot of options and I don't know what to choose. In the side, everything is basically default. I showed everything I have in that thing. Uh, there is not that much things to show actually because 
uh, I'm still a beginner when it's about Linux, Ryzen, and all of that. This was today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think about my Linux Rise. Is it cool? Is it bad? Is it horrible? I bet it's horrible, but you can leave your opinion down in the comments. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.